I'm with my friend Ken Goodman, who's, uh, who's really a cele celebrity photographer and uh, photographs a ton of chefs and culinary events and has photographed a lot more, but he'll tell you about that. Well, um, I was a chef for 20 years, and I switched uh, careers about eight years ago. Who did you work for? I worked uh, mostly in Boston. Uh, my mentor was a guy named Chris Lessinger at East Coast Grill in Cambridge. So Pretty big name. Yeah, and you know, he taught me barbecue, he taught me uh, how to be a better manager and how to be a better person, and he was a, you know, uh, a big influence on my life. So, but I turned 40 uh, eight years ago, and I wanted to make a switch in my career because I didn't want to own a restaurant. And then where I was in my life, either I keep working with somebody and you know, fulfilling his or her dreams, uh, or I create my own. So I decided to take a year off from doing that and sort of find myself. And I thought I would have a side business as a, as a, uh, a private event chef. So I, my wife had a camera, so I was having uh, these little mock dinners with friends and I was taking pictures of the food and of the atmosphere just so I could put it on social media and drum up some side business as a, as a private event person. And people started commenting on the photos that I was taking. And, and not many were asking me about, you know, private checking and hiring me, but they were asking me about my pictures and commenting on the pictures. And then someone reached out to me on Facebook, um, who I didn't know in person, just a Facebook friend, and he said, I'm having a, a bar mitzvah for my son, and I'd like you to photograph it. How much do you charge? And I thought he was kidding because I was like, I'm not a photographer. And he said, well, I like your pictures. I don't care if you're a photographer or not. I want to pay you to come and shoot this thing for my family. And so I did. And so I, my very first thing I ever did was for somebody and I got paid for it. And, you know, it was a bar mitzvah. It wasn't a fun event, but I realized that this was something that I could do and make money doing it. So I didn't have any equipment. So I started to um, go on YouTube. And, and this I, was how many years ago? This is uh, in 2010. Wow, you've only been at this? 2010. For seven years? Yep. Yep. I went on YouTube and I started to uh, you know, type in things on photography. And I wound up going to night school via YouTube. So I would spend five hours a night just looking at tutorials because I'm a visual learner. And I would learn everything I could about uh, cameras and about being a photographer on YouTube. And then um, I knew the folks at the James Beard Foundation. And I asked them if I could um, come and photograph the James Beard Awards. And, they, and for free. And they said, sure. And so I rented a couple of cameras from a camera store in New Jersey. And I went to the event. And that night, Mario Vitale was getting an award. And he was there. I know Mario from my chef days. And uh, he asked me what was up with the cameras. And I said, I'm a photographer now. And he said, well, I'm starting a foundation. And I just started a foundation. We have an event coming up in a couple of months. You want to come and photograph it? And I said, yes. And um, he said, I won't pay you, but you can come and photograph it, which I did. And he liked it. And I became his photographer. And once I became Mario's photographer, a lot of other doors started opening up. People thought because I worked with Mario, I must know what I was doing, which I did not know at all what I was doing. I would go to an event and I would go inside and see the lighting and then go back outside of my car and Google how to photograph in whatever lighting it was and try and watch a video on that and set the camera accordingly. These, are, these weren't cameras I owned, so I, I always was trying to figure out that as I went along. But, and I had a lot of chefs uh, that were friends. Obviously, I was a chef for 20 years, so all my chefs were friends. And I had friends that were musicians. So I became a food and music photographer based on the people I knew in my life. And using them as guinea pigs at first, and then getting good at what I did, and then finally uh, launching my business with the IRS officially. Got a loan from the bank, bought my own cameras, and um, then my barbecue team won uh, Jack Daniels World Barbecue Competition. Uh, my team IQ won it, and uh, from that we got a, a cookbook deal, and the team said we'll do the cookbook as long as Ken can photograph it, and I had never photographed a cookbook before, and so the publisher was a little uh, 
you know, uh, concerned when I shot the book and they liked it. And then the cookbook thing started happening. And, um, I shot and so you've been shooting this event, this uh, Big Apple Barbecue Apple, Block Festival, how, how many years now? This is my sixth year and I shoot exclusively for Mike and Amy Mills. I don't shoot for the event, I don't go around and worry about content. Everybody comes to, to, to see Mike and Amy. And whatever their needs are here, I stay here and I work. work so you must have got a ton, ton of celebrities off this table over the years. Yep. You know, it, it's you know, it's like working for the mayor or something. You know, everybody comes to see the mayor. So you're talking about Mike Mills from 17th Street Barbecue yeah. in Murfreesboro, Illinois, which is also he also in Memphis Championship Barbecue. He's got barbecue joints in Illinois and St. Louis, right? And then Las Vegas. Well. Funny about Mike Mills is, you know, I used to see Mike at a competition, and you know, Mike Mills was there, and uh, I was at the Jack one year at the big family dinner they have all this fried chicken. The Jack and Daniels at the barbecue, right on the distilleries. Uh, What's the official name of that event? It's the Jack Daniels World Barbecue Championships in in Lynchburg, Tennessee. So they have a family meal for all the chefs. Um, all the masters the night before everything gets going. I sit down and I'm I, I, across from this woman, and we're having a nice conversation. And then she says, uh, you know, oh dad, you know, she has a seat for, for, for her father, and over walks Mike Mills. I'm here. I'm talking to Amy Mills. I didn't even know it. Um, and fast forward to now, um, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough to work with Mike and Amy for a long time. I photographed their latest book. Um, Praise the Lord, and I consider them close family. I care about them a lot, and I love them a lot. 